So here's the oil pump, guys. And there's two screws that hold it in. If you look really closely right here, I've got one already out. One, one screw right there. There's another screw kind of hiding in here. And I've almost got it out. So I've got a long 5 16 to get the bolts out. Because it helps getting past the lines that are in the way. Now the oil pump's loose. We've got it, look at, it can come right out, see? Oh, look at that. I was expecting a really long shaft. <laughs> but look at that. So this is what's driven by shaft inside. So now I gotta figure out what is, what's actually in there. Okay, so here's the oil pumps hanging. And now I've got my pliers, I'm gonna pull. This is the drive shaft that makes the uh, oil pump pump. Okay, let's take it out. We've got a cylinder and another shaft here. This is the driven shaft that runs on the crankshaft. We didn't have any issues with ours, but I'm doing this to prevent issues. Now, we've got this. This is our delete, delete button. <laughs> it looks like, we we'll hold on to this bolt. Ooh. What came off there? That's, that that was on the top of this. Now we've got our delete. And there's probably, you know what, buddy? This O-ring has got to go here. They didn't give us that O-ring, did they? On the end of the gear shaft, there was an O-ring that sealed from between the oil pump and the shaft. That O-ring, if your kit didn't come with it, you got to put it on your deleter <laughs> and I've got a flat side and a rounded side is there a short distance and a long distance there is okay so it is offset a little bit I didn't realize that it's right so everybody this thing only goes in one way 10 4 hey, don't freak out like I did I wasn't sure, but now I know. It only goes in one way. And then you can keep this as a souvenir. Rusty socket. We put our two screws that this thing came with in. Okay, this is a pretty easy. Now we're just going to put the two screws in and hold the block off on. That's really, you guys know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, then you should be doing this. <laughs> now I've got to remove this pump. So it really isn't that compl complicated. We just have to remove this line from here and then plug it off. Cause I was saying, this is your main fuel line. You've got to plug off this nipple so that you don't have any air coming in here that leans the fuel or aerates the fuel. So, and all we got to do is remove that line and then clamp it. So oil doesn't come dripping out of here, the reservoir, which we're going to leave full so that we don't have to mess with the alarm. Okay, so I got my oil pump off and I detached the line. This line goes to this line here, which goes to the reservoir. So I just want you to see what I did. I, I detached it and what I did is I put in one of these. I'll grab one for you to see. This is a vacuum T. This, this is like for your engine, you get them at Napa or AutoZone. And then I put a cap this is like a vacuum T cap over that. Again, this is full of oil and we've detached the oil pump. We have our bypass installed. Now down here, okay, so this is where the other line came uh, from the oil pump. Just a vacuum T cap. Like I was saying, it should be fuel safe and I'm gonna put a zip tie around it. So on mine, I also removed this oil tank and you guys are gonna have these two lines. I got a quarter inch hose barb. We're gonna use that to join the two pipes together. It's doing the same thing that it was designed to do. Crankcase pressure then translates into the pressure going out this line with oil. So we're just gonna continue that trend and block it off here. So I've got a hose barb to block off this pipe. 
that was originally over here that went to this oil tank. So if we don't block that off, we're gonna have a crankcase ventilation leak. And I don't know, but that would probably screw up with uh, your fuel trim or something. It wouldn't be good. We removed the oil tank here and we joined the two lines together with a quarter inch hose barb. We have removed the oil pump here. We have blocked off this oil line that goes to the reservoir. We've left the reservoir full of oil. So the sensor reads full. Very nicely capped off the nipple where oil is introduced to the fuel. Disconnected the pressure hose. That This is what causes pressure to deliver oil to this tank. We've capped it off and secured it somewhere safe. So that's what I've done. We've also capped off the reservoir so that it is just holding oil now. Okay, there you go.